Hello? 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 Is YouTube working? Hello? Tap, tap, tap. You'll be able to actually hear this one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapers. If I seem a little less high energy today or my voice sounds a little bit weird, and you can see I've got one of those things just there, you know when you, like, lie on the pillow and it almost, like, scars your face and you wonder if it's going to stay there for the rest of your life? <laughs> but then, like, half an hour after you wake up, it's gone when you've, like, worked your face out for the day. Um, yeah, it's really early right now as I film this, just mainly because my video yesterday uh, took 12 hours to get on YouTube. It took like 10 hours to actually be able to set public where it was only 240p and on the 12 hour mark is when it eventually uh, managed to get to 360p so not even HD um, and I still to this point right now this morning I don't know if it actually worked. Like the video could be stuck at 360p forever so if you ever see uh, episode what is it like 64 of the Escapist, it might forever be in like less than standard definition. It's ridiculous. So a couple of things to point out already this morning. I chucked a load of stuff into my desk and we are on day seven and not day six. Basically, uh, an episode that I filmed of day six, uh, I completely lost the footage. Just something corrupted audio-wise and I just lost all that. But we didn't really miss a great deal. Um, I didn't manage to get the woodshop job like I was hoping to because uh, I'm a bit of a scrub. Uh, <laughs> I did manage to get a couple of new items though, which was quite nice. I managed to get myself like a contraband pouch. So when I get this woodshop job in a minute, I can get the timber braces for the tunnel that I started digging. And I will show you exactly where that tunnel is uh, if you haven't already seen it yet in a video uh, so it is Sips that is doing the woodshop job at the moment so I need to make sure that I can beat up Sips oh god Sips is like right in there is that Sips I'm gonna hope that's Sips yeah, I really think that is Sips. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just going to give Sips the run around. Uh, hopefully I don't get sniped or anything like that. No, 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 Sips, don't you dare go back to work. Come here, you bugger. That's it, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. That's it, I'm just going to run you around this corridor here, or at least run you around in the courtyard until your job period is over. I've just got to not let him get too far away from me. So yeah, basically today uh, I've got to try and get the woodshop job, sneak a load of timber out to make some timber braces um, and then basically I'm going to show you where I've been digging a hole out of because I have had a little look around and there is some fences here but they're electrified and I haven't seen a generator anywhere just yet so I don't think uh, cutting your way out of this prison is the way to go. So that's the current plan at the moment is get the stats, get the money, dig out and then everything will be good. I'm just trying to work out at the moment how many timber braces I'm going to need so if it's like four blocks or five blocks forwards that's not going to be any more than two timber braces is it because they're kind of like for every three blocks you have to put down one or like every other one so I, I'm, going to, I'm going to take three i'm going to take three timber braces out of me just as like a good luck charm and then i'll get two more of those slots be i guess just normal timber because then that means i can use those to make things like uh, sturdy shovels and all those kinds of things as well because at the moment i'm getting barely anything on the spoon front there's literally like one maybe two spoons in this prison uh, on each day and that might be by design or i might just be getting absolutely royally screwed over by uh, rng jesus it could very well be either uh let me quickly run over and get the job before sips punches my face out there you go no will oh god i thought will for a second there <laughs> was uh was trying to take the job that i just managed to free up i would have been very annoyed if that was the case uh right so he's got some timber i've got absolutely no money but that's fine um i just want to make sure that i get to afternoon roll call and check that i'm not the one getting checked which i am so i'm gonna have to move some stuff out of the way so you're coming with me thank you and everything else is green awesome stuff right so i I've already got high intellect that's one thing that I did yesterday that you might not have seen and uh, the intellect is in a really odd location by the way um, I always thought the intellect would be in its own room pretty much every person we've ever been in it's always been in its own position but for whatever reason this one is inside the gym so you can like lift some weights and you can read some Shakespeare at the same time. It's very peculiar. Look at this. It's like right here. So I'm just going to get this back up to like over 80 just to make sure that everything is good on that front. All right. How are we doing on the intellect front? Right. 84. That's not too bad actually. So I do need to make myself some tools or like a shovel or something. And that shovel should be able to do a good chunk of the distance that I'm trying to go underneath this wall. So let's put all this stuff away. And we'll use the contraband pouch to go and make ourselves uh, some timber braces and get some timber out. I've already got a file to make a tool handle I've got plenty of duct tape and another piece of timber with a sheet metal which I've got like two of will mean that I can definitely make all the stuff that I'm looking to so let me just quickly pop into here and I don't actually know how to do this job like because obviously I want to know oh I've done it again <laughs> this is a bug this is a bug with this game where if you walk on top of the furniture container it throws you into the corner and it happens every single time and I'm not even sure the guards coming in and out is going to save me 
I legit have to restart the day again. <laughs> God's sake. This happened to me like when I tried to film day six originally and I don't even know why I just walked into it just then for God's sake I'll fast forward to the same point in the day where everything is the same. I'm not gonna make you relive that Oh, okay So maybe maybe it wasn't such a bad idea Um, because I've just done the reset of like day seven for the second time as in like, you know Since the uh, the furniture desk thing and look how many bloody spoons there are that is amazing So that's really really good So we've got a buttload of spoons which means that we've got loads of stuff to dig out underneath the floor with which is brilliant um, I don't actually have enough room to store it all, which is kind of annoying. Um, I guess I could take stuff out for the meanwhile, like, I guess I could take out, like, those utensils. I'm not going to need those. And I also don't think I need a shaving cream. I don't think that's going to be too critical in our uh, prison escape plan. Oh my god, Jesus. I was like 77% really quickly. I was stood at morning roll calls. So I don't know what their problem was. Right, so we're going to repeat what we did before and I'll see you in a sec. Alright, I've got sips targeted but I am also really high on the heat rating so it does mean that if a guard tells me to stop doing that whilst I'm outside, I'm probably going to get sniped. There we go. Alright, cool. So now I could just try and leg it from everybody. As long as Sips never gets too far away from me and as long as I don't run into too many guards, then I'm going to be okay. <laughs> oh no! Just keep going. I've got to kite them around. Oh my god. <clears throat> This is what happens to me first thing in the morning. This is why I never film when I immediately get to work. Because I can't say anything. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah God. All right. So I need to keep Sips close enough, but I need to keep the guards far enough away. <laughs> so I'm really, really running it tight here. Oh, God. I knew I said I'd skip past this, but this is kind of interesting to see exactly how this is going to turn out. Oh, God, another cop. All right. So my heat rating has actually dropped enough where I'm not picking up any new heat and, like, any new guards. So I've got to run them around for another two hours in game. Oh god, come on. And the problem is, is like, even though the heat rating's dropped, they won't drop off me. They're just going to stay with me until, like, I actually run away from them far enough. But once I do that, Sips will also run far enough away from me. And I'm going to end up losing him as well. So this is a really bad place to be in. And it looks like Sips is wearing one of the officer hats. That's very, very weird, isn't it? Look at that. And he's almost, looks like he's got three arms at the moment. Oh, damn. Okay, hold on. The camera got me. Oh, dearie me. Oh, God. So I stopped for too long, and I stopped in front of the camera and punched the camera, or punched the guard, and that ended up shooting my uh, rating back up to 99%. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, why not? Let's have another guard in the chase. We've only got another 40 minutes left in-game to kite these guys around, and then we can go and grab that job. Bloody hell. <laughs> this, just, uh, this episode in this day is not going remotely how I planned it to. But I like it. It's not like, it's not face palm bad. It's quite funny actually how it's all turned out. Alright, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there is that period over. And I've just got to try and leg it away from them all quick enough. There you go, take the corner. Go, 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 go. And I should have lost them. Nice. All right, so we're down to 81%. We'll check if we're getting afternoon roll called. We can go and grab the job, and then we can go back to what we were doing. <laughs> All right, cool. So it's Terps and Matthew that are getting checked. So if I actually take the contraband pouch with me, uh, I can run straight into there, grab the stuff that I was hoping to take, and then I can grab out all of the other bits. Uh, I can't actually use any of that stuff there. There you go. Um, I don't need to bring the utility key with me just yet. Oh, for God's sake. All right, well, you know what? Kill me now before I try and go get the job. Because otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. There you go. Right. Straight out of the infirmary and straight north. As long as William doesn't come and try and steal my job again. <laughs> they took a job. As long as that doesn't happen, we'll be all good. Uh, Ross needed a mission, but I'm actually full on favours at the moment. We've got nothing but beat-em-ups currently. Um, and we have no matching beat-em-ups other than Simon. So I'll make sure if I see Simon around and I've got like a glass shank that I make sure I do that. So we got you. We're going to get that vacancy. Good. All right. So run back to the room. <laughs> We're going to grab the, uh, the contraband stuff. Or I could just try and leg it out, honestly. Should I just do that? I don't think I'm going to get into too much trouble. No, oh, I guess I can't take two sniper shots. Okay, maybe that'll be like a backup. Because I do have to get from that door all the way down to this door in only two sniper shots. And I'm not even sure if that's possible. I think that distance might be too far, even if I had like full max 50 health. Right, contraband pouch. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, my yellow key... Oh, my orange key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure my orange key is in the desk in the right place. 
I was going to be very, very annoyed if it wasn't. Right, so the contraband pouch doesn't deteriorate as you walk through here, which is nice. Uh, neither of those two have anything on them that I want. So if I just quickly sneak into wood shop, and I don't, as I was saying before, before this all glitched out, I don't actually know how to do this job. I'm assuming maybe you use the timber on this bench or something, or because there's no items you pull out of that, and there are no items you pull out of that, so... I've still never actually used it myself just yet. Uh, so, right, going to make you two, going to make you two. Oh, nothing happens. There you go, good. And then I wanted to make one more, didn't I? So I wanted three timber braces to definitely get out. And then I just wanted to bring two bits of timber. Now, I don't know how much this is going to nuke my contraband pouch. So it's only 25%. That's not bad, actually. Considering it's a full inventory and it only took 25%. So look, now it's down to 50. That's okay. That's not too bad, actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. So that does now mean that I can uh, drop you into there. And I can probably make you two into an item, like so, like a tool handle. And then what is it to make the lightweight shovel? Uh, lightweight... Or is it, is it called a flimsy shovel first? Flimsy shovel escapist. I, I think it doesn't require duct tape, and I always think that it does. Uh, let's have a little look. No, it does require it. So it's just the tool handle and sheet metal, and then a roll of duct tape. All right, so I can make that shovel, like, straight away. And then if I run the shovel and the braces, and maybe, like, one spoon uh, into the utility room, then we'll be all good. Uh, let me just very quickly get behind here. There you go. All right, so let's make you... Oh, I don't actually have the sheet metal on me. Oh, bugger. Uh, I guess if I just drop that there for a second, that'd be fine. As long as no guards come past. Oh, God, that was really close. That was really, really close. That could have been a write-off again, like many a day has been so far. Uh, <laughs> right, let me make you. So we've got the flimsy shovel. That's all good. I'm going to take out some nice items. going to show my face at uh, evening meal, just so I don't get into too much trouble. Uh, unless my heat rate and rockets up any further than that. Uh, and then everything should be good. Ross has got a glass shard. Do I want it? Part of me says that I want it, but I also don't really care that much at the moment. Because I'm not going to be able to get out of here without my heat rate and skyrocketing, am I? Because there is a metal detector just there. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it for now, just so I don't get into too much trouble. Uh, and speaking of trouble, my heat rating is redonkulous right now. So <laughs> let's grab the key. We're going to put the spoons in for a second. We've got the three timber braces. And we want to bring the shovel and then a spoon. There you go. All right. And then we're going to run these down to the appropriate room after I show my face at exercise period. Just so, uh, just so they know I'm actually here and present. I'm not going to do any exercising in here. Not even just a tiny bit. I want to maximize my digging time right now. Whilst I can. Alright, so they've definitely seen me, without a doubt. So if I just quickly run this way and into there, everything there should be cool. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to drop you here. I'm going to drop you there. I'm going to drop you there. The only worry that I have, actually, is that the guards might see items through the door. Because that has happened in the past, hasn't it? But I'm wondering if it is only a direct line of sight that they see stuff. I think it might have been one over. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> I don't want to trust anything too much. Uh, all right, cool. So we're going to do this. I just thought, actually, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. We're going downward from here, aren't we? Yeah, downward. So it's one, two. I'd like to say that's three, four, and then the fifth one. But I can't be entirely sure. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's dig a little bit. Uh, and yeah, I've just remembered, actually, that would be a really good idea for me to wear this flimsy shovel right the way down and then bring more duct tape and another metal sheet in and actually upgrade it to a um, to a better one. Because that's all we need, isn't it? Sheet metal, duct tape, yeah, to make it into a lightweight shovel. So we've still got 20% left of that. No! Oh my god, the plan is ruined! Are you serious? So we can't... <laughs> oh no! How the bloody hell are you supposed to get out of here, then? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, can I not drop that down there? My heat rate is 99. So we can't dig out of there. How do you get out of this prison then? Oh, I'm very, very confused right now. So you can't go out that way. Somebody did mention, like, the visitor place. But I don't think you can do that, can you? I don't think you can just waltz out of the, uh, out of the visiting area. Like, I don't think you can just smash that glass in and jump over the desk, can you? Let me try. Uh, let me try, like, spooning it. No. I guess I'm just gonna have to use a red key there. There must be a red key there, and then the red key must take you further down than that into the other part. I tell you what, what I will do is I will save at the end of this day, and we can very quickly have a run down and see how far away we can get with that red key. So let me just very quickly just do, uh, oh, that one. There you go, good. All right, and then as soon as the guard has passed, I want to put the poster back up. Oh, God. Put the poster up. There you go. Good. 
good. All right, cool. Uh, and then I want to put the utility key away. And I want to trade with, say, Lewis. I'm going to give Lewis two piles of dirt because that's what I think of him. There you go. And one more. Boom, there you go. All right. So, yeah, let's get to the end of this day. We'll run down there with the red key and we'll see exactly how far we can get. Um, I, could, I could do it now, but I think I'll just only end up getting into trouble. I'm going to assume that's the guard quarter. That's that. And I reckon there'll be one more red key door out the very bottom. Maybe that's how people have been getting out of this prison so quickly. They've just been getting the pieces together for a hot chocolate, getting the red key, and they're just running out. And then I guess they can make money in one day fairly easily as long as they're, you know, somewhat competent, which I'm totally not. Uh, <laughs> then that would be all good. But I can't believe my, like, master plan is now completely ruined. What a ball ache. But before I leave this prison, I do want to make sure that I do two of those job periods just so I have the achievement, like, you know, done and dusted. That would be really, really good. Um, I should probably take anything out of my desk that will get me into trouble right now, just just because. I could probably go and raise some stats, actually, whilst I'm waiting. Although I think evening roll call starts in, like, 20 seconds. So <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do a great deal. All right, then. It's evening roll call. Hopefully I'm not getting checked. Uh, Bebop has some more timber on him. Not that it matters. Doesn't really matter to me that much. Bebop does have a hammer, and he got up, like, instantly. <laughs> I was contemplating then whether to take the hammer off of him, but didn't really have a choice there. Uh, please don't let it be me getting checked. I just can't be bothered with it. All right, it's Parv and Peabat. Good. All right, so if I just get into my bed, as soon as the clock ticks, like, 11 o'clock, it will save. We can run outside, and then we can wrap it up there for today. This will be good. Um, so, yeah, it's been actually interesting. Nobody's actually told me how to get out of this prison yet. I'm assuming a lot of people are just watching this series as opposed to playing the game themselves, or it's just getting flooded under by tons of other comments um, which is also very very likely uh, but evening roll call has ended and now that we have our red key let's try and bust out of this place let's go I was about to say shall I go through the posters and stuff but that'd be a bit of a waste of time but at least this day is saved day eight with the keys intact and everything else is cool so I'm gonna wait for all the guards to leave their posts I'm gonna wait for the camera to not look in my direction and then I'm gonna run into here ah it's a purple door interesting Okay, so I could... Oh, God. So it's only a silver door, which is the entrance door. You normally can't leave through that door unless you've, like, knocked all the guards out, as far as I'm aware. Although, I guess if I just get a fork and just chip through that, that would also work. Oh, yeah, maybe it would. Ah, okay. Because that door, this door here, the, the purple one, should just instantly become open the moment that uh, this period finishes. So 9 o'clock will roll around, and that will happen. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay, the backup arrived. All right, my bad. Hold on, I'm just going to check this. I want to check a few theories before I uh, before I wrap it up because I really want to know exactly what it is I'm doing tomorrow. So let me just quickly grab out, say, like this. Uh, I don't really have any other forks. Oh, it's a shame I don't have any other chipping items. That would have been really, really handy. I guess now that I've got the timber, though, I can make myself something like a pickaxe or something along those lines. So I'll show my face at morning roll call. I'll have a run down, and if I can chip away at that wall, that'll be really, really good. Uh, my only worry, though, is much like these fences, here, I'm worried if I get rid of that wall down there that it might just be one of those random blocks in the game where when you take it it doesn't give you uh, like a fake wall block or like the general wall block that you just picked off the ground. Sometimes the game doesn't give you that kind of leeway. Uh, so we'll, I guess we'll have to find out. But I guess really tomorrow, if it does work, we can work towards getting a pickaxe and then just raising $250 and then we can get the hell out of here. Like, at least we know that the red key is literally all we needed to get down there. Has he said he's getting checked yet? I don't think he did. I don't think he ever actually said who was getting checked. That was weird. Anyway, uh, so right, we've got the fork. I'm just going to grab that here. As soon as the camera's not looking, I'm going to do that. He's not going to tell me off. The warden doesn't really grass you up that much. Oh, that still doesn't open. Right, interesting. Is the purple key one of the ones you can get off of the guards? Escapist wiki key. Let's have a little look. I've typed key into the thing. Uh, let's have a little look. Right, so that one is one you can get off of the guards. So it's the... It's the third guard that has the entrance key. Right, okay. So I've been wasting my time. So instead of the utility key, I need the entrance key. And then I need to try and chip through that. Okay, well, there you go. That's our plan for tomorrow, everybody, then. That's what we're going to be trying to do. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing in here. Infirmary staff only. Oh, God. Can I knock him out? No, I can't. I'm just having a little roam around here. Oh, dearie me. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. All the guards have been alerted to my presence in this room. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so this is very weird. Okay, so that wasn't what I was expecting from this prison. That's a very different way of getting out of here. It does seem like it's a one-way street, though. It seems like that's the only way of getting out, or at least from what I can surmise so far. So I'll tell you what, thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to grab that staff key. Uh, not the staff key, the guard key, or whatever it's called, entrance key. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye!